Come on. Oh, oh there's a ring. It's shining on her finger. Oh, my God. It was sparkling. Hi. How are you? Daddy, I have a huge. I heard. I was hoping you'd say yes. Brother, congratulations. Good job, brother. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah, I'm stealing you. I'm stealing you. Love you. Yay. Congratulations. Thank you. I was like... A thousand oh, people. Let me see, let's see. Holy sh! I said, are we broke now? <laughs> <laughs> Holy He said, crap. no, we are not. Don't worry. <laughs> Very nice. Since I got home late, I missed your doctor appointment. Yeah. What types of things were done? You had full blood work? I had blood work and uh, the ultrasound. She ruled out PCOS, which is like polycystic ovarian syndrome, but my estrogen levels are lower than expected. Mine reflects someone who's postmenopausal. Here's the crazy part. So low estrogen causes shifts in mood, headaches, depression, trouble concentrating, and fatigue. Oh my God, it's like literally spot on. So my next step is to see an endocrinologist, which is like a hormone doctor, essentially. I almost feel like relief. That, like maybe when these are changed, like I could start feeling like myself again. Yeah. You know, like, I'm at, like I've been telling you for so long, I'm like, something's not right. Like I just don't feel like myself. Like I shouldn't be this tired all the time or like unable to like do anything. Anyway. <laughs> I told so, you you're perfect. You just need a little estrogen. Ever since going off birth control in November, I've been dealing with a lot. And there's nothing worse than feeling, than knowing your body and knowing something isn't right. And just knowing that there's reasons why I feel the way that I do and there's things that can help it and change it.